Well, thank you, Ken. We begin with a developing story out of Tupelo. A Walmart in Tupelo had to be evacuated after the pilot threatened to crash the plane into the business. Now, the pilot, Corey Wayne Patterson, was seen flying circles above parts of Mississippi after stealing the plane from Tupelo Aviation. Now, Tupelo police say around 5 a.m. they were alerted about a plane flying over Tupelo. And police say the pilot made threats to crash into the Walmart on West Main. Now, the Walmart was evacuated and Tupelo Regional Airport was shut down. At approximately 9.32, the pilot posted on Facebook a message and in essence it said goodbye. At this time, we know he was getting close to running out of fuel. At 10.08 a.m., FAA lost radar contact with the aircraft. At 10:12 a.m., our negotiator reestablished contact with the pilot. Now, no actual injuries are being reported at this time, and the pilot is being charged with grand larceny and making terroristic threats. And, and tonight, we're joined by the Tupelo Police Chief John Aquaca. Now, Chief, I know today has been a busy day, but am I correct in saying that Mr. Patterson uh, was not an actual pilot? He did have pilot instruction and perhaps even soloed on one occasion, but did not go all the way through and obtain his pilot's license. Now, Chief, do we know right now why he did this? No, we've not been able to ascertain a moment, a motive at this moment. Uh, that should hopefully be coming out in the next few days as we continue the investigation. Now, this went on for some hours, and I understand uh, communication was made with the pilot. Now, did he land the plane voluntarily? Did he run out of fuel, or was he mandated to land? Well, we do know that his fuel capacity was probably at the very end of it. Um, it does appear that because of he was about out of fuel, he did decide to land it on his own. It was not a... It was not a fireball crash landing. He, he purposely set it down the best that he could. Now, Chief, looking at this tracking map of the plane's directions of travel, it's all over the place. And dealing with an event like this, I'm sure it takes a lot of manpower, patience, and organization. Now, how did your department respond? The entire city of Tupelo stood up in an emergency operations center so that brought in all aspects of the city to include fire and the mayor's office and park and rec and everybody in the city. So that was stood up here at the Tupelo Police Department. And at the command post, we were more focused on the criminal event. And that's where we had fire department, Mississippi Highway Patrol, FBI, Lee County SO, and a litany of other law enforcement agencies to assist. Well, thank you, Chief. 